Hi everyone, welcome. I want to start a little series about the Revit R1 updates. So there are regular updates published in the release notes of the Revit R1 website. And I just want to, every time, take a look, go through them, hopefully next time uh, closer to the actual release date. And because this time we're looking at release notes from 15 August, so that's a couple of days ago already. And usually the updates are kind of immediately, more or less, uh, once they're published, they also end up on your R1. One thing I have definitely noticed is that the battery time has gotten considerably better. So at the beginning, you could literally watch like it going down. <laughs> um, and now it lasts a lot longer. I have to be honest though, I don't use it a lot. So it's mostly lying on my desk. After a couple of days, I will notice it's dead. And then, yeah, you also see I haven't removed the sticker here because it's kind of, I use it as a free screen protector. Um, I mean, it's probably not going to do wonders. It's just like a foil on top. Um, but it's enough for me since I don't really move it away from my desk. I don't have an external SIM card in it. It's just a Wi-Fi. Um, I don't really have a use case for it outside right now. So it's just, yeah, it's inside. So there were several updates in this 15 August release. And number one was that Beta Rabbit can now get you to where you want to go. The scroll wheel, scroll, my what a word, <laughs> scroll wheel sensitivity has been upgraded um, and improved. And yeah, then there's some more stuff that I will get to it in a minute. Um, for now, so this is the rabbit. Let's start with triggering Beta Rabbit. Beta Rabbit. Give me the temperature in Frankfurt. Beta Rabbit here. Let me think. Searching for current temperature in Frankfurt, Germany. What the current temperature in has... Frankfurt, Germany is yeah. 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Exactly. Partly cloudy skies. The problem the here is... is also, if someone knows how to make it stop... Okay, now stop. Um, usually, Beta Rabbit does actually show text as well when it replies. It didn't in this case. Um, I have told this device about a thousand times to tell me the temperature in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. It's not working. I have said this to Beta Revit. I have said it to the regular Revit. It's just not remembering it. It remembers it like if I say it now, it will remember for one prompt or until the device switches off. I don't exactly know what's resetting it. Um, let's give that a try real quick. Beta Revit, give me the temperature always in Celsius. Beta rabbit here. Let me think. Saving a note about temperature preference. I have noted your preference to receive temperature information in Celsius. From now on, I will provide temperatures in Celsius for you. Okay, so that's most likely going to work now. Beta rabbit, give me the temperature of Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, whatever. I guess it won't know what I mean. Checking Frankfurt's temperature in Celsius. Yeah. So there you see now, nice and Celsius. Celsius with partly cloudy skies. Yes, awesome. Um, so you can see it's in Celsius and actually the wheel is much nicer to scroll now. Before I had to really scroll a lot for it to move down. So the sensitivity to me seems way better now. Um, still a bit funny. I don't even know how to explain it, but um, yeah. Now let's ask the regular rabbit, which I have also multiple times informed that it should say everything in Celsius. Give me the temperature in Frankfurt. So, the weather in Frankfurt, Germany on yes, Friday is thank you very much. Fahrenheit with partly cloudy sky. Okay. Um, as you have seen, these two are really separate, the beta rabbit and the other rabbit. And um, I wonder if one day I will consistently get the temperature in Celsius. Let's see. Um, now, let's get to the actual update. So, number one is... Um, oh yeah, little disclaimer. So, beta rabbit is still in beta, as the name suggests. Um, and now apparently it can help you to go places and also help with the timing and so on. All right, let's try this out. Beta Rabbit, I'm at Frankfurt Main Station. Give me the closest McDonald's. Beta Rabbit here. Watch me cook. Looking for places. The closest McDonald's to Frankfurt Main Station is located at Am Hauptbahnhof 1, Frankfurt am Main, Germany. It is open now and operates from 4 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock a.m. every day. You can contact them at 0692399. Enjoy your meal. Okay, but I'm kind of like not there yet. Let me see. Let's try something else. Beta Rabbit, how long does it take me to get to the closest Burger King, presuming I'm at Frankfurt Main Station? Beta Rabbit here. I'm on it. Looking for places. 
searching for directions. The closest Burger King to Frankfurt Main Station is located at Am Hauptbahnhof 1. Oh geez Louise, they have all the they have all the fast food there. So let's see if it can retain context. Beta Rabbit, how long does it take me by car? Beta Rabbit here. I'm on it. Searching for directions. Driving from Frankfurt Main Street. Okay, yeah, it retains context, so that's nice. Burger King at Am Hauptbahnhof 1. Frankfurt am Main. Germany will take approximately 17 Oh wow, I should definitely walk. This <laughs> is about 14.0 kilometers. What 14 kilometers? Oh wow. Okay, something something changed it. It does strange because I think it was like 1.7 before and now it's 14 kilometers all of a sudden. Um questionable. I would probably still be better off with Google Maps. Um however, let's try something else. Beta Rabbit, I have an appointment at 3 p.m. I am currently at Frankfurt Main Station. If I walk to the closest McDonald's, how much time do I have there to eat before I have to go to my appointment, which is located again at Frankfurt Central Station. Okay, I admit that was wrong and <laughs> potentially confusing and wacky. Let's see what it does with it. Evaluating 3 o'clock p.m., 1.47 p.m., 20 minutes. You have approximately one hour and 13 minutes to eat at McDonald's before you need to head back to Frankfurt Main Station for your 3 p.m. Oh, nice. appointment. That's nice. Here is a quick breakdown. Walking time to McDonald's is 20 minutes. Current time is 1.47 p.m. Time until appointment is 1 hour and 13 minutes. Enjoy your meal. Okay, wait, but that sounds a little strange because I have to walk there, but of course I also have to walk back to the main station then. So, hmm, <laughs> yeah, almost. Um, Definitely a good start. I find like there's some glitches in the voice sometimes that you might have noticed it. It's not like consistent and it seems sounds a bit wacky compared to the regular non-beta rabbit. So if I if I ask the non-beta rabbit, what time is it? Also, this takes quite long. Okay. So and then when you say beta rabbit, which time is it? What time is it? Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, that wasn't so bad, actually, the difference. But sometimes it's like, oh my god, <laughs> it's like a different universe. Um, now, let's try to explore places around you. For instance, museums. Let's see if there's some museums. Beta Rabbit, I'm at Frankfurt Central Station. Um, tell me about some museums nearby that I can visit. Beta Rabbit here. Let's see what I can do. Looking for places. All right. Here are some museums near Frankfurt Central Station that I'm you scrolling can visit. the wrong way. One, Stadel Museum. Address: Schaumeinkai 63. Okay. I feel like Frankfurt it wouldn't need to read all of this out. 4.6. Opening hours. If you have a way to, yeah, so stop this quicker. Like it would be really nice to have like a way to quickly make it shut up <laughs> so you don't have to listen to all the stuff. Um so definitely agree on a scroll wheel. Nice work there. Um, directions is pretty good, but yeah. Um, also, it could be my confusing instructions, so <laughs> that's okay. But it's a nice start. Um, I still feel like um, the way it, sh like Google Maps seems to me a better way to show these kind of things. If you just talk about um, having a list of items, then I guess Beta Rabbit works fine because Google Maps cannot do what Beta Rabbit can do here. Um, so a combination of the two would actually be kind of nice, but I don't exactly know if the screen would be able to display like maps and stuff. If that would be the case, that would be super awesome and would make this a lot more useful, especially when you're out and about and you just want to like move around. Also this camera, so the stuff that Google Maps does with, um, I forgot what it's called, like where you can see, you can point at um, like landmarks and or even just like stores. And it will know where you have to go and it will kind of show you in an AR kind of way um, when you look th at the phone through the camera. Um, however, then what we're doing is we're essentially like trying to get to the level of Google Maps, which is kind of probably not the purpose here. Um, so yeah, good update. Looking forward to more. Looking forward to not having to say beta rabbit. By the way, I, <laughs> let me just show you. Like I would naturally say beta rabbit actually, so that doesn't work. 
Be the rabbit, can you tell me the time? The current time is 1.51 p.m. Okay, I don't know if that, I feel like it ignored the be the rabbit. Uh, that's, that's because I had a few instances where it would tell me like, hey, my name is not Peter Rabbit, my name is Sam, um, which is what I named this thing. So, oh, oh, here we go, menu. <laughs> Just happily scroll through the menu. Um, yeah, let's let's try that again. Peter Rabbit, what's the temperature? Checking the temperature for you. And um, that's a pretty good indicator that actually I am not communicating with the beta rabbit, but rather I'm communicating with a default rabbit because it's giving me the temperature in Fahrenheit. So you have to explicitly be like, beta rabbit, tell me the temperature in Frankfurt. Beta rabbit here. I'm on it. Searching for current temperature in Frankfurt, Germany. The current temperature in Frankfurt, Germany is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. awesome. <laughs> um, so it cannot retain the Celsius information apparently across the span of several minutes. So that's that's like really bothering me. Um, I don't know what the hell Fahrenheit, like it is not my unit and I don't know what to do with it. Um, and I can't mentally translate from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So. I just wish they would fix this. Please fix it. Thank you very much and see you at the next update.